Greetings, you scum. My name is Krusty, and welcome to Cooking Simulator. What? You cannot live your dreams in the real world of being a chef because being a chef is unrealistic and real chefs don't actually exist. Yes, that is true. What? All food is grown, prepared, and cared for by a mythical donkey in the sky called Chad? Yes, it's true. Chefs don't actually exist. They're a figment of all of our combined imaginations. But with the advantages of video game worlds, we can delve our brains into a fictional realm and live out whatever stupid worthless dreams you have. New order! Okay, what the hell is that? It's a fish. Uh, a baked trout. Okay, where's the trout? And how do I bake it? You know, I was really hoping that would blow up or something. Okay, for the baked trout, we need trout, lemon, parsley leaves, fresh. Okay, um, oh, there's also other stuff. Black pepper, dill, dried thyme, dried horseradish. Bloody hell, there's like, you gotta do it all in grams and everything like that as well. Holy shit. This is a lot more in-depth than I thought it was gonna be. I've got like just over five minutes to do this. I should hurry up and stop talking. What's that? Trout! Fantastic! Five grams of dill. There you go, that's eight grams there. That'll... That, that'll probably do. I'll just put it there. I don't care about cleanliness right now. I just want to get the job done. What else do I need? Black pepper? I am somewhat of an expert in uh, um, cooking, by the way. So I feel like I have an unfair advantage and I know what I'm doing already. Sh shake it or something. Five grams of this as well will give us a nicely prepared, prepared trout. Six? I want six. I'm throwing in my name into the hat of people who know more than what the professionals do. I get the trout, I pick it up, I put it on the baking tray, and now I'm going to put it in the oven, I suppose, and I'm going to leave it to bake for, hmm, let's say, 120 seconds. That's pretty quick. As far as cooking goes, you might be saying, yes, you'd be correct. You're not as dumb and ignorant as I perceived you to be. Now, we can't just sit on our hands. We have to be productive. So while we're waiting for the fish to be done, we need to get the horseradish and plate up lemon quarters. OK, so we can get some lemons. That'd be great. I'm guessing I order them out of here from somewhere. There you go. Lemon. There you go. Let's cut up some lemon. Cut lemon into quarters. Gonna do that. Here's my knife. This is how I do things. Just observe and pay attention. We need parsley leaves and they need to be fresh. So they're gonna be around here somewhere. Um, if, if I can, if I can. Parsley leaves and they're fresh. All right, well, our trout should be about done. So let's get our trout out here. They're all oh, beautiful. I can't pick it up because it's very hot, but I want to anyway, because if, if, it's, if it's really hot, then why don't, I, why don't I cool it down a little bit? Okay, so that probably cooled down the trout a little bit. I should be able to pick it up. No, that doesn't make any sense. Huh? <laughs> okay, how do I pick it up? Tongs. I have tongs. That's not quite what I wanted. I don't think that plate is the plate that I need. Oh, I dropped the trout on the ground. You know, bigger plates are better than smaller plates. I mean, there's just more room on them, you know? So that, oh God, the trout is falling all over the bloody floor here. Well, that's close enough, isn't it? Uh, let's, let's get, the, oh, smashed plate. It may be running late, but it is better to be late than not there at all. Okay, so I don't know where the fish has gone. I kind of knocked it off somewhere when I smashed the plate. Your guest hasn't received his dish on time and has decided to leave. Everything's kind of going to hell. Put it on high for five seconds. See? This was the last order for today when you're done prepare for tomorrow. I don't have to prepare for tomorrow. I know what I'm doing. Oh, look! Is that the same thing? We got the same thing as yesterday? Oh, great. Then that means I know what I'm doing. I'm going to try and do this perfectly, okay? It's kind of gone a little bit uh, kind of crazy and ridiculous so far. But uh, this one, I feel like I'm actually going to be able to do it pretty good. So five grams of thyme. Let's get this done here. Let's get this on here real quick. That's seven. That's not exactly perfect. I've already just failed in my mission of what I wanted to do. Never mind. It was always meant to be, I suppose. That's a stupid cop out. That doesn't make any sense. Six. There you go. Six works. Gonna have to get this plate off the side here because this is like a total health and safety hazard. See, it's much safer on the floor. So I've seasoned the fish. I've got it on the bacon tray now. We're gonna put open in the oven place. We're gonna put it in. I'm gonna close the door. I'm gonna turn it on, and then we're gonna do it for I believe it was 120 seconds. I know this because I'm brilliant. Okay, so while I'm doing that again, I, I just got I got the quarter of lemons from yesterday. I just picked them off the floor. See, I did prepare for the day. Look at, look at me knowing how to do stuff. 
Okay, that's that's pretty much done, I think. So let's turn this off. Let's get it out. That's smoking hot and looking pretty damn good. Close that. There you go. There you go. That'll do. That's fantastic. Great. Season with five grams of horseradish shall be done. Seven grams. There you go. They've got it. They got seven grams. They're greedy. Greedy. Don't, don't say we don't give them value for money. Now we put the, the four quarters of lemon on the plate. And then we're done. I think we put the thyme on or something, whatever that was, parsley or whatever. What was it? Parsley. Parsley. I know that. Um, again, I'm a chef. There you go. Beautiful. So that is done. I think we're all done. Let's take the plate over to the finish line and where we can serve it. There you go. What is this? Ding dong. Ding ding dong. Ooh. <laughs> I got stars. The two and a half stars for taste isn't. Right, I mean, I gave it more seasoning, so surely it will be better to the taste, if anything. <laughs> I, I should know I'm a chef. Client is not pleased and wants a refund. Okay, well, <laughs> there's no refund for you. What do we got now? Steak with french fries. So we're going to need a steak, potato, rosemary, twig. Okay, so I'm going to need to fry the steak. So let's, um, let's, let's, let's put it on here like, like so. There you go. Then I'm going to put the steak inside the pan. Ready to go. Forgive me, the mouse cursor is a bit all over the place. It's kind of, kind of a little bit crazy. Now I'm going to need four grams of salt, four grams of black pepper. I already have the black pepper ready to go. Let's try and get this right, okay? Four grams, perfect. And then I'm just going to go ahead and get the salt, which is probably over here as well. That's sugar. Don't want to put sugar on this, the steak. They not probably won't like it. Or they'll really like it because I'm innovating and people appreciate innovation. Fry it for 60 seconds on each side. So let's put that... It on what's so I'll put them all on you know cuz I mean more heat will get it done quicker I'm gonna need like some kind of flippy flippy doodles a spatula fantastic and while I'm waiting 60 seconds for that to do I need to cut potatoes into sticks so if I grab one potato over here bring it over to the cutting board right now um how much do I need though? Uh, 300 grams I don't, I don't know how much how many grams is that potato there uh, 150 okay so I get another one and then there we go. It's all about measurements, man. It's all about measurement. Just cut them up into sticks, which they, I mean, they, they want sticks. I'm, I'm more like making wedges, if anything. Wedges are just as good. Uh, uh, hang on, hang on. I know bloody hell, I'm flipping it. I'm gonna flip it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna flip the bloody, bloody, how, how do I rotate, rotate it? There you go. Oh, it's going off the blood. Oh God, it's bouncing everywhere. Bloody hell. Hang on, I'm trying very, very hard here. There you go, I got it! I did it! Fantastic! Shut up! Get off! Oh, that's not quite cooked all the way, is it? Oh, well, then never mind, it's fine. I'll just hide it like that, and then then, 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 then they'll never notice. I don't think I was doing it right. I think I have to, like, dip these or something, or put the oil in. Or do I have to put oil in? That makes sense. I mean, how are they going to fry if there's no oil to fry them in? Oh, there we go! There's the oil! There it is! Fantastic! Okay, so this is... This is how I, I've got to do this for 60 seconds now. I should turn that off, but it's more efficient if I'm ready to go at any point. Also, I, I don't want that to stay on there like that. That'd be fine on there like that. Oh no, the day ended. Oh crap, I didn't get to finish my steak. What is that there burning on the ground? Who left a mess in my kitchen? Oh my, oh no, there was a fire. Oh dear, what have I done? Ugh. <laughs> That's, that doesn't look very good. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll just, um, I'll, I'll put... I'm going to serve them anyway. Oh crap, I can still finish serving that. Holy crap. Okay, and there's another one that wants exactly the same thing. I, I, I've, I've made it and they, I'll make the new one because I'll get the highest possible score. I didn't finish seasoning it, did I? I needed season. Wow. Five stars realization time. It's almost as if I prepared it yesterday or something. It says they were unhappy, and then it says they were happy. So I don't know what to believe here. I'm going to choose to believe that they're happy. And I got another order as well. But that's um, I tell you what, they can, 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 they can just have, they can just have a potato. They can shut up and they can have a potato. What do you mean the person who ordered a grilled tuna steak didn't want just a plain potato on the floor? I'm not going to refund them. Here's my new strategy. Okay. It is to just serve everyone potatoes and take their money and not refund anyone. 
This is how you run a successful damn business. Okay, got an order. Grilled tuna steak. There it is, ready to go. Serve it up. Serve it up. Serve it up. Are they happy? No, but the realization time is five stars. Never before has there been a quicker don't refund. <laughs> Give me your money. It's not trout, but it is a potato. And if you squint really hard, the potatoes kind of look like trout. Oh no, the potato fella. Can I? <laughs> I could just serve them empty plates. I don't even have to give them potatoes and they give me money. They're imaginary meals. So you gotta imagine that you're getting what you ordered. And if you don't enjoy it, then it's your own bloody fault. What can I buy? Let's just buy something. Just buy, I want water, give me water. Here you go, here's water. There is no water in that bottle, I want a refund. Why are there no more orders coming in? Why are people not ordering from my restaurant anymore? It doesn't make any sense. The meal was pretty good, I'm impressed. See, it's not all bad. That was when I made some amount of effort. Okay, so we're starting another day. I'm not exactly sure how we've even made it to day four, but we, we seemingly have. Uh, but I don't think this whole chef thing has really worked for me. So I'm gonna leave this behind me. And I'm gonna go looking for a different career path. I'm thinking gardener or astronaut. So thank you very much for watching, I shall see each and every one of you in the next video, so so long. Farewell and goodbye. I think... I think there's a blender in the ventilation. How did it get in the ventilation?